50 bucks. What? Blue time. Blue time, babe. Gross. Don't punk out, Kitty. Go for it. Oh, my God. Let him have it. Wow. Kitty, you better go. Yeah. Break my damn shoulder, fool. Hundred bucks. Oh my god. Have you lost your mind? Hey, trust me. I'm forty. How far are you going on that crowd? I have no idea. Oh my god. Jared got it for hundred and forty dollars. They got the beer bucket, got the futon, and they got the party sounds. That's all you need. We'd probably get 50 bucks for this. Look at these. Those are aluminum. Those are probably worth like 10 bucks. Pristine condition here. <laughs> A little bit of patina on the fabric here on the felt. Uh, what about the wine fridge? That's 25 bucks for sure. Yeah. This is all yeah. clothes too. What is that? It's for mixing drinks. Yeah, it is. We should get a drink. <laughs> Look at this. Flask. Way bigger than that other one you had. Anything in there? Empty? I told you it was going to be a party unit. Party unit? Feels more like a hangover. Are you trying not to use your hands today? <laughs> well, it's, I don't have any gloves. Hey! Wait. Oh. Hold on a minute here. Look at this. Hmm. It's all drinks. Oh, yeah. Cocktails, huh? Yeah. Water, French vermouth, tangere. 1929, huh? These are really old. I bet we can get a couple of bucks for these. If this book isn't worth anything, I'm going to need a cocktail. Wherever we get them checked out, it's probably going to be a bar, so you know I'm in on that. Is this really necessary, a driver? You know what? I want to be safe. Since we're going to a bar, we're probably going to have a couple of drinks. I just figured I'd arrange a driver, and I felt like that was the smart thing to do, right, Kenny? You're damn right it was. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kenny, park the car, meet us in the bar. All right, now. I got another surprise for Brandy. Hi. This isn't your average bar. Where are you going? Shh. OK, Superman. Password. Dolores. <laughs> Dolores. <laughs> Come on, we're in. Well, since you're Brandy, I'm going to give you the Brandy cocktail. It's Thank called you. the Monte Cristo. Chug it. Jared, I'm going to make you something very similar to hers. It's called a thistle. Let me see this. Right. What is in a thistle? This will fix you up all right. <laughs> if you look at the recipe, it says two parts scotch. OK. One third sweet vermouth. And a dash of bitters. Exactly. And here you go, sir. A dash of bitters. I gave you two because you seem like a bitter guy. How is it? Huh? Not good. <laughs> Anyways. Some cool bar tools here. Yeah, they're exactly what you would expect to find in a bar kit. OK. This actually probably isn't old at all. And these portable shot glasses are companions to that. The gem, though, is this guy. It was written in the middle of Prohibition when you couldn't buy alcohol. It's a piece of history from an era that should have never happened in America. And this was literally a social protest against that experiment. But one of the other things he did is he put little quips and jokes at the bottom of every page. We noticed that. Some fellows drink just to forget, others to remember, while some drink for no reason at all from December to November. <laughs> So you have all kinds of interesting things. These tools, not worth a lot. So 10, 15 bucks. But this guy is rare. It's so hard to find, and it's in such good condition. And it's a really good book. The dust cover is fantastic. The spine is fantastic. And for a book from 1929, that's pretty doggone impressive. So you could probably get $1,200. Are you kidding me? Oh, what? my God. Round of drinks. <laughs> I always knew partying was going to pay off. Woo! Oh, we forgot about Kenny. Yeah! Hear me? Yeah! I may not have a lot of friends, but I got a lot of money. King of the world!